Hi guys, how are you? This is Vamsi from Tech Fortress. Today I will be showing you how to transfer files wirelessly using Wi-Fi. Any files such as MP3 or JPEGs or PDF to and from your uh, Android wire to any device such as a an Android phone or PC. So let us go to the process. First, you need to pair your Android wire to your uh, Android device. To do that, install Android wire application on your uh, Android device, then go to open that application, yeah. and then on your Android, where you need to go, you need to yeah. on your Android device, go try and search for the devices that is showing GWatch or over there. Click on that, that will pair your phone to your mm -hmm. Android, where yeah, it's prompting for the pairing request. Once you are paid, you need to go to the settings and enable this thing, this this option. It will take a while for the whole thing to be done. It will get updated and everything. I will be back once the updating process is all, all completed. Yeah, the Android is, uh, Androidware is all synced up. Now you need to go to the Androidware app and then enable the sync in the settings option. You need to go to the settings and then go to the privacy and person set personal data and then enable the cloud sync over here which should be switched on if you do that then only the uh, Wi-Fi on the Android will be enabled so now let us go to the Android and check whether whether the Wi-Fi is working or not and yeah, go to settings and then go to the Wi-Fi settings which is over here yeah, it, is under, it should be under automatic and it will get it will automatically get the password and everything from your uh, Android device and it will get connected to that uh, Wi-Fi network so Uh, it is getting connected to the net 007 which is my Wi-Fi network which is over here so once this is done you need to install an app called ES Explorer for that you need to uh, connect your phone for uh, your Android way to the computer and then we will continue the process let me connect the watch to my computer once your phone is connected to the PC you need to go to the settings on your Android Wear and then uh, you need to do you need to enable developer options to do that go to about about Android Wear thing in the settings and then you need to keep clicking on the build number which is over here keep uh, touching build number eight times and then you'll be getting an extra option called developer options in your menu go to the developer options and then you need to enable the ATB debugging which is disabled you need to enable that once that's done now you can go to the and uh, go to the PC I'll be continuing the remaining process on my PC so in that you can actually give the ADB commands to install the APK files. So let's go to the PC now. After you connect your Android way to your PC you need to install the drivers, appropriate drivers for your Android way using this ADB driver installer. Uh, click on that and install that. Install the appropriate drivers, it will be shown over here. Click, click your device over there. Mine is already installed so it's not showing that and click on the install button which is over there and then once that's done you need to go to the android where the folder which i'll be uploading and we'll be providing the links for that too and you need to open the command prompt over here by you can do that by uh, holding shift and then clicking right right clicking on your mouse that will give you uh, an extra option in, in this menu you need to click on that open command window here and then you'll be in that folder appropriate folder directory then you need to give this command to check whether your watch is connected ADV space devices and then once that's done you need to install the APK using the command ADV space install after that uh, the APK will be installed and you can check it over there on your Android web. Once that installation is done, you can check it on your Android where it's showing install failed already exists because I'm trying to reinstall it to show it to you people. So once that's installed, let us go to the Android and continue the process. Yeah. Previously, we had enabled the uh, sync option in your on your phone in the Android Android Wear application. So now the uh, watch will be, the, will be connected to Wi-Fi. Yeah. It is connected to Wi-Fi now. We need to open the ES Explorer, which is in the menu. Yeah, open the ES Explorer. Yeah, let me adjust the focus. 
Yeah, now you need to go click on the corner to uh, open the menu. And then you can go to the net manager to check whether it's connected to the Wi Fi network. It is connected to the Wi Fi network. Now, yeah, let us send some files from your Android device to your Android wear. Increase the brightness. Yeah. Go to US Explorer on your Android device and let us now try to send some files. Yeah. Oh, select all the files that you want to send, then yeah, let me send like five songs to my Android here. and then drag them to this corner, corner, and you'll be getting an option. You'll be scanning for all the As you can see, the I, yeah the GWatch or option is over here, and then click on the send, and then you can click OK on your Android where and select the destination. I'll be put them, I'll be putting them on in the root folder. Yeah, I'll I'll be going to music and click OK. Yeah, so it's getting transferred at some good speed actually. Yeah, I'm getting like 800 kbps. Yep, the files are being copied and that's how you transfer files pretty fastly. Well, you can actually go and you can click on the remote manager on your Android web. So what it does is like... Uh, yeah, the files are transferred. So you can actually... Yeah, you can find out the... IP address of your Android by going to this place. You can go to settings and then Wi Fi. Go to wi Fi. And then uh, find. Yeah. And go to advanced and then you can actually find the IP address. Over here, yeah, click on the IP address. That will show you the IP address. Remember that 192.168.1.16. So go to ES Explorer. And then go to Net Manager. Go to Networks in the settings. on the net manager so you should be connected to the network and once that's done you can go to remote manager and this will be working so now you need to go to the system and I need to click on the IP address to get access to the Android where I will be doing a download system on your system you should be connected to the same Wi-Fi as your Android where is connected and then go to Firefox and then I need to enter this IP address which is yeah, FTP colon slash slash one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one six slash uh, sorry colon then the IP uh, then the port number is six seven two one I guess yeah it's a uh, three seven two one actually yeah three seven two one and then click enter and these are the files uh, for the these are the files from your Android where and the files which I transferred earlier to the music folder can be found over here. If you want to connect, if you want to transfer files to this thing, you can actually uh, install Fire FTP on your FTP on your Mozilla Firefox and add to Firefox and then install that. Once that's installed, you'll be getting the option over here.
can click on the menu bar and then go to web, web developers and then you can go to yeah. you need to restart this uh, to open the fire FTP so close tabs and restart Firefox I don't know why it's this slow and then go to tools and then web developer and you'll be finding fire ftp over in the corner and enter the enter the ip address as yeah create an account host is 192.168.1.16 colon 3721 right yeah Port is three seven two one actually, and then you can actually change that. You can remove the three seven two one from here, and then click OK, and then connect that. Anonymous would be done. So these are the files. Now you can actually transfer all the files from your system to the PC, PC to the Android way directly. Uh, let us check the music folder. Yeah, you can actually download them. These you can select them all and then download them to your PC, your desktop. Go to desktop and then transfer them back. It is getting transferred at uh, 1 Mbps, as you can see, 1.2 Mbps or 1.3 Mbps. So that's pretty much uh, a good speed actually for the wireless transfer from your watch. Okay, now let's test the right speed. Let me some send some other file. Love SketchUp and some other two songs. Once the transfer is done. stop that yeah everything is done now let's uh, transfer the files from your system to the android where using the ftp connection select the files and click on this arrow which is over here yeah it is transferring at 1.7 mbps that's the whole process this is, this is the comprehensive procedure and the tutorial so if you like this video you can click the like button and uh, if you don't like uh, like the video you can tell me the, you can mention the problems in the description below and also click on the dislike button which is thumbs down and you can you can subscribe to get more updates from my channel thanks for watching the video people take care